Good morning, everyone. I'd like to welcome you all in today's Cobalt Systems and Nice Label webinar, Coding and Automation, the new landscape in software integration. My name is Nina Babnik. I'm the Channel Marketing Manager at Nice Label. And let's just wait a couple more seconds for everyone to join. Okay, uh, welcome again, everyone. Um, I'd like to welcome today's presenters, Chris Hunt, sales leader at Cobalt Systems, and Bernard Williams, previously sales leader at Domino, Eltron, Zebra, and now at Nice Label. Um, let's just do a few housekeeping rules before we begin. We are recording this session, so you will receive the presentation and the recording after the webinar. We would also like this webinar to be as interactive as possible. So you are very welcome to write your questions anytime during the webinar in the questions box, which you will find on the right side of your screen in the control panel. It's kind of in the two thirds of your control panel. So write us any kind of questions you might have. Um, we will answer the questions at the end. And um, thank you um, everyone for waiting. So we can begin. Go ahead, Chris. Okay. Thank you, Nina. Uh, good morning all. Uh, my name is Chris Hunt. I'm UK sales manager at Cobalt Systems. I've worked uh, for Cobalt uh, in the auto industry for 18 years, uh, offering consultancy in barcoding, labeling, and automation into manufacturing environments. I work within several sectors such as food and beverage, pharmaceutical and medical devices, to name a few, um, through SMEs right through to blue chip clients. Um, and today in this presentation, I'll be working with Bernard. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Bernard Williams. Um, I've worked with Domino and Eltron and Zebra and now Nice Label for the last, well, 34 years in the industry um, and uh, seen a lot of changes during that time. And I'd like to share with you today some of the, the great changes in the marketplace uh, with cloud. Um, so with that, Chris, I'll, I'll pass back to you. Thank you. OK, so a quick introduction to Cobalt Systems for, for those of you that don't know us. Um, Cobalt Systems, we're a UK manufacturer of high performance print and apply systems. Our systems are used for real time print and application of labels onto primary products, such as medical devices, traded unit cases being um, shrink wrap packs, cases, and then onto uh, serial shipping container uh, codes, such as pallets. All Cobalt Systems are supplied with a three year uh, lead. Uh, with a, sorry, all, all Cobalt Systems are. Supplied with a three year warranty and are built to stand the test of time in the most dem demanding of environments. Uh, and we offer the lowest cost of ownership. Of course, the hardware is only part of the solution. Um, the Cobalt team are GS1 accredited. We have a team of experts with vast experience in all elements to do with barcoding, labeling, verification, and automation, delivering consultancy and end to end solutions. In the webinar today, we are going to demonstrate our software, its ease of implementation, integration, and ability to connect into many pieces of varied hardware into one platform. A slide towards the end of the presentation will show you how this will typically look on a uh, factory floor. Okay. So, Cobalt Disciplines. Um, I don't believe that uh, any of our clients wake up in the morning and think, hey, today I want to buy a print supply machine. I'd like it to happen, but uh, the reality is it doesn't. Um, we do believe that our clients need quality coded product, uh, first time, every time, output, quality, and uptime rule. This is easily achieved with five disciplines. Specification. We assess the holistic picture and the client needs in the short, medium, and long term. Specify the optimum solution for the client, considering longevity and scalability. Service. Of course, having put the effort into getting the right kit, we need to maintain it and make sure that we optimize it and sustain um, optimal performance. 
supplies, use suitable media for your code and equipment, optimize for the application, the hardware, and the time. For example, labels and ribbon, we need to specify the right label and ribbon for the application first, then we need to ensure that it is optimized for the hardware, and then optimize in terms of runtime. So for example, ensure the label roll and the ribbon roll run out simultaneously, so you're only stopping once for a punishment. Security, test the output, verify the print quality, and validate the content is right. Then onto software, which we're going to lead on to today. The best hardware available will print the wrong data if the software tells it to. So today we're going to cover how easy it is to get this discipline right. Applying these simple disciplines religiously will deliver quality of time. If anyone would like to discuss this following this webinar, then please do contact me. Okay, so on to the next slide. Common software challenges. Normally in a consultation, we would talk about these challenges and individual challenges at great length. Uh, in a webinar, of course, we don't have the ability to do that. So we just put some up on the slide there for you to see some of the typical ones. Um, I don't know if any of those relate to you, but you can read through that yourself. Um, some of the, what we see a lot of at the moment is out of date software. And in these, these times in particular, it's been a real challenge where there's been maybe less people on site that can deal with it. Um, and it's been difficult to, 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 to deal with or upgrade that software because they're, 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 they're stuck with it, right? Um, so today we're going to show you how easy it be to, to move on from out of date unsupported software. Uh, another thing on there, you'll see uh, too many systems working independently. Um, another thing that we're going to address today. Okay. The last on there, and this is where I move on to uh, best of breed. Um, the last mention on that slide was locked into one head, one hardware provider. We see that as a frustration for uh, many of our many of our customers. Uh, a, a good client of Cobalt Systems, quite a vocal about this uh, a few years back. They were procuring three new packaging lines. Uh, he said, Chris, I just want best of breed, but all working up one platform. In his example, he wanted cobalt print and applied for cases, zebra tabletop printers for SSCC labels, domino inkjet uh, for uh, dates on sleeves, and Markham date coders for film. I wouldn't really disagree with him. Working with cobalt, he implemented a software solution, not only for three new lines, but for all lines across two sites. Nice label is the perfect uh, solution uh, in this scenario. Chris, thank you very much for that. I think um, you made some very good points uh, through that through that uh, early start. And uh, what I really want to do is uh, talk about what we're going to cover in the in the webinar. This is certainly the benefits of cloud. Um, uh, really, the print from my cloud, uh, the business system. Um, Labeling solutions in the first place, uh, all the way through to deploying Label Cloud and show how simple that is, uh, and finish up on some examples of really what we're doing in the cloud space at this moment and some examples of companies that are deploying at cloud. Um, so these are the headers you're going to see as we move through the presentation. Um, uh, and uh, first of all, I think the, the thing we really need to look at is, uh, you know, what are the benefits of cloud? Um, it's now available for labeling um, and, and many companies are looking to move into this into this space so uh, what are the benefits uh, these really apply to all cloud-based solutions and we know how relevant they are for labeling so quick and easy implementation uh, we offer a public tenanted um, cloud uh, we can provision account uh, in, a, in a matter of minutes uh, very little infrastructure planning required um, and obviously with traditional labeling systems uh, that's not so straightforward so it's a very quick and simple easy implementation most people are looking at reduction IT costs uh, but also the burden on IT um, and with the deployment of cloud it reduces the, the IT labor and maintenance costs um, and, it, and it releases the the amount of infrastructure you need to put actually on the site or across your your structure. We use Microsoft Azure, so we have a secure and highly available 24/7 uh, multi-tenanted cloud. And when building the cost uh, basis, lower total cost of ownership is very important. Uh, we deploy as a pay-as-you-go solution, a subscription. 
uh, and that allows to you to budget um, opex against capex uh, and plan in a much uh, easier way of payment. Global scalability, we can deploy down to as little as three printers, um, whether into a single site or more recently, I deployed uh, across a company called Wild and Wolf. They wanted a printer in uh, Australia, a printer in America and a printer in England. Uh, so still three printers, but it was global. So we do scale whether it's three printers or thousands of printers. Uh, and that is the beauty of, of cloud. It does give you the ability to build your plans over time. Uh, and also allows you to reduce back over time if uh, the, the the business, as we know today, gets affected by uh, international effects such as COVID and other areas. Um, it's a future-proof and up-to-date solution. Um, we manage the cloud. Uh, it comes with a built-in uh, service maintenance agreement. So we are continually updating the cloud and continually updating the product. So it takes away that, once again, the burden of uh, ensuring you're keeping on top of your maintenance agreements. We would do that for you as part of the subscription process. So I'm going to have a quick poll and ask you to, uh, as Nina suggested at the start, um, to answer a question. So how much downtime or delay do you associate with label generation? Three choices, none, less than three hours, more than three hours. If you'd like to go to your side pane and uh, uh, just click on which one you feel is the right answer. We will take that poll now. So I'll just give you a few seconds to do that. Lovely. Thank you, Nina. Uh, and thanks for answering that question. We'll come back to that later on in the, in the question and answer session or come back to you uh, at the end of this. So cloud is interesting, but why do I need the lab nice label solution in the first place? And, and, I, and I guess this is a conversation we have with many companies. Uh, when we ask them, how is the system working? Uh, and the answer is everything works, everything is fine. Um, but generally when we look across a labeling operation, we see many data sources. You have several data sources in fact. You may have an ERP, uh, a warehouse management solution, or a manufacturing execution system, or, or in fact, many uh, of these if you've acquired a number of companies. Um, and, and as you build down through the layers and, and how you manage that data, you also see uh, many um, uh, uh, output protocols, such as you know, using crystal reports, uh, if you have printer languages for many of the printers that you would use, um, you have uh, bespoke, uh, management production solutions from some of the inkjet people and some of the the players such as Clarisuite and, Col uh, Clarisuite and Colos, um, and uh, and as that builds down into the the business, you tend to build many processes around how that gets managed, um, and you have to develop multiple processes to capture the quality and the quality manual, and everybody will understand where that will be. Uh, but you will find that people have different views of how you get to some of the reports and information. Uh, and clearly, when you are then running to a number of printers and you print to many brands, you could have some inkjet, some desktop, uh, label applicators, may even be from Cobalt. Um, so over the years, you end up with multiple printers, uh, multiple solutions, uh, varying levels and the result is a confusing and generally costly web of software and processes and technologies all working together working together when we talk to many customers um, what are the results of the confusion that we see um, and what we've done here is listed just a few of those um, clearly disparate and fragmented applications uh, which makes changes quite difficult at times across the business Obviously, multiple legacy ways of printing, which often impact productivity. The one that comes out most of all to us is the heavy IT burden. For IT managers, they're expected to know everything and do everything, uh, and, and obviously do it yesterday. Um, and a way of managing that uh, is to uh, uh, make that a, an easier solution and a harmonized solution. 
and obviously manually manual quality systems manual quality assurance uh when the rest of the, the the business and the market is moving forward rapidly into a digital and automatic process and we develop software to help and support that obviously many risks uh mislabeling wrong data uh errors errors can be very costly to the business uh, and by harmonizing across this process uh, it allows you to eliminate uh, many of those errors uh, and allows you to get away from costly reworking. So, what our recommendation is, is to move to a single label management system, as Chris pointed out. Um, and the, the purpose of this is it really makes label design changes straightforward. It does speed up the print operation across the board. Um, and that, that vital reduction of burden on IT by allowing the, the, the business to manage across a harmonized process and the ability to automate your quality assurance. All of this will reduce, reduce risk through standard workflow across the business. So you may say, sounds good, Bernard, but how can I print from my cloud-based business system? Uh, well, um, quite frankly, that's quite a quite a challenge. Um, you can't run many labeling solutions from a cloud-based system easily. Um, uh, and depending whether it's Microsoft Dynamics, uh, Oracle, SAP, uh, many companies deploying uh, ERP into the cloud uh, and providing that, it's actually quite a challenge to get that to uh, a, a labeling solution and eventually to the edge to the printers. So, uh, there is opportunity to do that uh, using cloud connected printers uh, and cloud connected printers come from Zebra and from Sato in the marketplace uh, and those are available today to allow you to connect to the cloud but still there is a problem um, there is nothing there to connect the two and this is really where we come in you can run labeling operations from uh, business systems like nice label Label Cloud provides the labeling system for your cloud-based business solution. So Microsoft, Microsoft Dynamics through, through Nice Label to the printer of your choice. The, the uh, ability of cloud-connected printers is the fact that they will give you a much lower footprint. It reduces your infrastructure and it's literally a zero IT footprint. So deploying cloud-connected printers allows you to connect straight into your business systems um, and therefore reducing that infrastructure and therefore reducing cost cost so nice label makes cloud to cloud printing happen uh, and the options that you you can look at in terms of cloud based is uh, a number of options obviously 100 percent public cloud if you're already running a cloud um, public cloud to on-premise a hybrid version you can obviously stay on-premise um, and use an on-premise software license, which is the traditional way of doing it. But there is many options that we work with, with many companies at this moment on, on how that is best deployed around your infrastructure and the costs involved to do so. So that's all well and good. How do I deploy? Well, it's, it's very simple to deploy. Uh, Label Cloud is not a, uh, a process that takes time. Um, and provisioning a new account is a very simple process. Uh, if you wanted to provision a, a demonstration, well, Chris would ring me and I would set up a, a new customer uh, uh, process for the cloud. Um, I would take information from you, such as your name, product level, number of printers, data retention period you're looking for. Um, and, and we would set up that internal provisioning tool. Uh, LMS automatically uh, sends a unique registration link to you, back to you uh, as a customer, and that would come through in the form of an email. Uh, it takes a very short period of time. You would receive an email such as this saying, hey, uh, open up your cloud uh, invitation, and that will put you into uh, a registration link. Uh, and the registration uh, link would then allow you to open in your internet browser and register uh, on the cloud. Time is very quick, as I mentioned, uh, and you would be back uh, and fully registered and available then to move to the next stage. So you've opened your account. You can then set up your uh, administration. 
you can start by inviting the users within your groups that's either organizational or domain users um, or external Google users if necessary but it's you're the administrator you decide who joins uh, and you can uh, assign user roles to those people such as operator approver administrator uh, author um, and you can do that uh, very easily and simply. So once you've set up their roles, um, you are effectively ready to go. Once those people have access, uh, they will then uh, download their client um, and they've uh, downloaded their, their designer through our automation. Um, and you are effectively ready to go. Clients will interact with the cloud, which means they will be able to obtain their license uh, and that will print to that local printer. Um, uh, and you are effectively cloud printing uh, very quickly indeed. Clearly, there needs to be a solution around how that data is then managed and developed, and you need to build the power form to do that. And that's where Cobalt can support and help you if your IT manager uh, needed that to do so. So in a very quick time, you can deploy a nice label infrastructure uh, through the cloud to an IoT printer, uh, and be operational very quickly, even in test mode to prove principle. Um, and Chris will be only too pleased with the team to support and help you through that process. So, once everything is done and complete, uh, your application is done, uh, you are fully operational in cloud. So, if you're fully operational in cloud, that's very good for setting up a demonstration, uh, setting up the early part of testing the process. Um, but what really happens if I've got um, you know, a full platform, uh, a number of sites, uh, and what I want to do is share with you now just a few real life examples of what we've seen and how we've uh, responded to that. So uh, typically, if we look at a centralized label design and management process across multiple sites and facilities where you have a central designer uh, or administrator, um, or they could be two separate people, but in uh, HQ or locally. A um, uh, production facility, whether you have your distribution warehousing connected or whether it is disconnected, um, where you have third party suppliers providing product into you as a production a packing facility or into your distribution center. Um, you're looking at 100% label integrity uh, for inbound labels. In terms of getting product, whether you are having your product shipped to you, whether you're, uh, in this case, a farm, shipping product back into the uh, local production and packing facility out through the distribution center. Um, this is where cloud uh, can be very strong. And we've done this with uh, a company called Wada Farms. Wada Farms are uh, a contract supplier to Dole Group, one of the largest fresh food product companies in the world, part of Total, total Produce. Um, and they deploy cloud across their business. Um, and th this application took into account their farms where they were uh, packing locally um, uh, and had a, and wanted to have a very secure process for printing um, and also a very simple pro process for their uh, uh, packers um, in the farms. Uh, as the product came back in the packing facilities, they use a larger amount of technology in terms of inkjet printers, laser printers uh, on the packaging lines, and obviously managing that out through the warehouse. Um, but they were also receiving goods in from a number of suppliers, uh, and they used uh, a nice label across their entire process to enable them to uh, harmonize their business and reduce their footprint and their cost of deployment. Uh, in some uh, very remote areas across the, uh, the, uh, the globe. Then, of course, you have the localized labeling solution. Not everyone is global. You have a local labelized solution, which is effectively one or two or three sites within the business. Um, and we've done this uh, across multiple production and packing facilities. And this was completed with a company called Tribe Nine Foods. Um, they actually bought up separate brands, which just happened to be in different factories. And they wanted to harmonize the central data and management of the labeling uh, and therefore deployed cloud against their uh, three brands and three factories um, 
uh, all of the data comes centrally, uh, local label design and print, they're managing that locally and it's all controlled from one harmonized solution. Another area we looked at, very similar, was for B&G Trading. Um, theirs was actually slightly different in as much that they were um, taking uh, garments and redistributing garments where they buy up old stock, repack, relabel and redistribute. Quite a low margin business and they wanted to ensure their footprint was kept on an absolute minimum. And therefore they delivered a localized solution across several repacking and distribution sites with centralized data and quality control. Uh, and as they increase the number of, uh, of sites or decrease those number of sites, uh, that, that is uh, something they can do with cloud very simply and very easily. So that's two um, simple sort of processes we've, we've looked at where it's uh, in many sites. Traditionally, and, and mostly we look at a single site, but have multiple applications for printers. Uh, you may recognize this, obviously, production and primary pack packaging, secondary packaging and tertiary packaging for labeling uh, and pallet labeling, all controlled centrally. Um, th this is a, 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 what I would say is a typical example of an application where uh, our automation and, and software are deployed. Um, and in fact, this is uh, Arla Foods. Um, uh, and at Arla Foods, we deployed a uh, nice label across the platform using our automation, uh, data collection, integration, and mapping engine, um, which controls and manages that whole process from inkjet, from overprinters, uh, thermal printers, uh, and obviously label applicators. Um, and across the operators on site, they are uh, looking at the document management sy system, the business users, um, and as they develop each of the application forms, which are the oper operator control screens, um, then they know that they have secure printing uh, at site and the operator only has to uh, identify the SKU and that calls up all the necessary information. So deploying uh, uh, LMS Enterprise into the food application, uh, either on-premise or cloud is a simple process. Uh, and can be developed in conjunction with COBOL and ourselves. So I wanted to give you a, a feel for the various types of applications where cloud is being deployed. It really is um, a hot topic in the UK. Um, cloud is showing some real progress across the marketplace. Uh, and when I talk to a number of companies, um, they're very happy to talk about uh, their experience. So if we take uh, Premi, um, uh, they were very keen and very happy to talk about their cloud experience. Um, but the one that um, we look at most, uh, in, 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 uh, certainly in the UK, H&M deployed it across their, um, all of their suppliers to get 100% integrity of their inbound labeling. So the suppliers um, supply in exactly the label they're looking for. So as that arrives into their inbound warehouse, uh, which are all very small and in store, um, that actually uh, completes their solution and they get a much higher uh, return on their products in terms of reads and the ability to sell it quicker through the process. So their return on investment was less than three months. Obviously a, 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 a very fast turnaround in that particular application, but it was a big application. So that was a, a feel. I want to give you a feel for companies uh, of small companies, of large companies deploying cloud uh, across secure solutions and using the automated process to, uh, to enable that to work uh, yeah, smoothly and efficiently. I have one more poll, uh, one more uh, question for you to, to take a look at. Um, so if, if you wouldn't mind, um, does your company have a vision for cloud? Uh, no vision? still on premise uh, our business has ambition to move to cloud we have already deployed cloud solutions so if you'd just like to take a second to answer that uh, poll that would be fantastic okay thank you very much Okay, Bernard, thank you very much for that. Thanks, Chris. Um, Over to you. Uh, 
so what happens now? Uh, well, as we can see from that um, fantastic presentation from Bernard, uh, the simplicity to get this product registered, uh, up and running, and uh, get testing some of its functionality, uh, it's, it's, it's very easy to get up and running. So uh, everybody that has attended uh, this webinar today, um, then you are very welcome to um, a free 30-day trial of this software. Um, we can arrange uh, contact after this webinar and get that sorted for you. Um, and likewise, uh, we can arrange a, uh, a free online consultation with our expert team at, uh, at Cobalt. Um, and within that, we can we can do this whole uh, process uh, remotely um, so, and we can get on with it quickly. So please do get in touch if you like what you see today and we can arrange that going from there. Uh, and now we're going to move into the uh, questions and answer session. Thank you, Chris. Uh, we got a few questions. Uh, the first one is, I'm currently using Bartender as my design software. Can Nice Label use these formats? Chris, do you want to answer Obviously that one? No, but now, now absolutely. Um, there, there is a, a translation tool that resides within Nice Label that allows you to take the, uh, the Bartender files and, and trans literally translate them into it. it it's about 95% uh, efficient at this, at this time. Um, but what we recommend for people that are doing that is use that as a real good opportunity to look at the label templates there, uh, look at how many you've got, look for rationalization opportunities. So by doing that check to, to, to check for that 5%, of course, uh, that'll help in the rationalization. But then once you've migrated them over, uh, I'd suggest that people then use the nice label comparator function which is really good and allows you to overlay the different labels you've got and help you rationalize further. Um, so yes, it's a, a, a very quick and easy process. Thanks, Chris. Uh, another question is, uh, how much of what you presented today could be delivered remotely in the current environment? Most of it. Um, it could be, depending on what level you go to, it could be 100%. The, Consultation can all be done online. Um, these days, like everybody is used to sharing screens and we're able to look at what you've currently got. Um, so consultation, absolutely. Um, specification, we can present the solution all online and even up to 100% implementation. Um, there will be a few um, cases where we need to have um, some physical integration at the line. So the MyOS engineers are uh, required on the line when you get to the full automation level that you saw in that uh, sort of uh, shop floor level there. But depending on what level you go to, probably between 70 to 100 percent can be done uh, remotely. Perfect. Thanks, Chris. Um, and another question is: I currently already use Nice Label. Do you have an upgrade path? Yeah, I'll, I'll, you, uh... I'll, I'll pick that one up for you, Chris, if you like. Um, yeah, thank thank you, Nina. Um, yes, we have an upgrade path uh, for all of our products. Um, and clearly, if you currently use Nice Label, we'll work with you to uh, develop the upgrade path if that is uh, to a greater on-premise solution or to a cloud solution. Uh, both are available as addition upgrades, and we can develop the, the cost scenario around that. Thanks, Bernard. Let's take another look if there are any more questions. Not right now. So uh, thank you very much, Chris and Bernard. Any final words for today's webinar? I, I'd just like to thank everybody for taking time to uh, attend today. I know everybody's busy. Uh, I'm pleased to get in touch with those contact details that uh, we, we showed earlier on, and we can arrange some trials and um, some online consultations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, also, dear partners, uh, dear customers, for your attention and for your questions. Uh, you will receive the presentation and the recording uh, per email. And uh, thank you very much. Stay in touch. Bye. Bye.